My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and if you're new to the channel and you wanted to know about this topic that's in the title which is diacyl, um, I waffle a lot but I do get to the point eventually. People hate it, people like it, what the fuck ever, who cares? So, uh, diacyl, D, di, a, sil, stands for Die cast flies. Fuck. Die cast, which is basically it's a casting process uh, with solid molds, right? So it's solid molds, and we'll get to bits of it. So it's die cast, which is the D and the I. The die bit, right? And then it's aluminium, 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 not aluminium, you fucking dickheads. <laughs> Sorry, I love, I love just, I love saying that. Just fucking dickheads and the aluminium thing. And then sill. Which is silicon. Silicon, not silicone. So, not cone. It's not that shit around your bath, right? It's silicon, as in chips, you know, silicon wafers, the mineral type silicon, right? The element. So, basically, what this is die cast aluminium has been around for fucking donkey's years. Uh, so, this. Uh, cylinder he cylinder head and cylinder bore and bottom half of the crankcase for this engine uh, is die cast, right? Uh, regular thing, right? Is die casting, although they have a sexy, a sexy die casting, which we'll do next. Actually, we'll do a video soon about that. Uh, the aluminium is, you know, like I say, it's the die cast aluminium, but it's the silicon bit. And the reason why it's a bit sexier is because it's 20%. Right, it's 20%. Now, you might have heard of hypertectic pistons, um, and they're around about above 12%. 20% is really quite high. And the problem is with um, using basically silicon, uh, you have some like uh, silicon carbide, stuff like that. And um, it's a, it's basically, it's in the mineral range of things. It's not a metal. It's in the mineral range, if you want it, the basic terms for it. Uh, you know, like diamond and stuff like that. And um, it's really quite fucking hard. You know, silicon carbide tools are fucking... It's hard. Too hard to do anything with. Hard! No, not soft. Hard plastic edges. Hard! Hard plastic edges. <laughs> Oops. You know what I mean? They're right up there. Uh, it's into you know you get into ceramics and stuff like that. And basically, it's not just when you add it to it that it makes it hard. It basically changes the properties of the aluminium itself as an alloy. But what happens is is that in your aluminium you get little nucleation crystals, little basically nuggets of the silicon in there that basically form silicon crystals uh, a bit like salt crystals if you want to think about it like that um, in the aluminium now this is a picture from Yamaha themselves showing you two cylinders and <coughs> on the left is horn marks and um, someone who said horn marks is to wear down your piston rings shut the fuck up <laughs> that's why they go down the entire cylinder you dickhead um, so on the left hand side you see that there's the uh, just a normal cylinder, you can see that the oil's impregnated in there. On the other side is the diacyl cylinder and you can see that basically these silicon crystals um, are more uh, hard wearing. Hard! No, not soft. Hard plastic edges. Hard! Then the aluminium around it, so as the aluminium starts to wear away a bit, these silicon crystals are basically left over. This is very similar in a sense to Nicosil. But there is a difference. So, 
Um, what this means, what diacyl means, is that it it's a replacement for sleeving or coating. So back in the day, you used to have an aluminium bore, and you could do two things in a sense. You could put a sleeve in it made out of some other material, a lot of the time cast iron, because cast iron has uh, little nuggets of graphite in it, carbon nuggets, the things that haven't dissolved properly, and they're brilliant at um, anti-wear, basically, self-lubricating, as they say. A bit like oil like bushings, which are sintered, blah, 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 goes on. But this is your standard uh, sleeve. Whoops. That's your sleeve cylinder. Cylinder. The diacyl ones are basically just a cylinder, right? Like that. Uh, sorry, we're still talking about other types, aren't we? The other type is that you have a solid aluminium cylinder and then you coat the inside of the cylinder with something like Nicosil. So this is Nicosil. Right, which this is a nil and this is a nickel. Uh, silicon carbide basically um, coating in there and as the nickel wears away because the nickel is quite tough uh, as the nickel wears away it leaves behind these silicon carbide crystals and these are the things that basically put up most of the fight you know the you you end up wearing away your rings and your piston faster than you do your cylinders and because rings and pistons are cheaper than getting the whole fucking thing reboard and recoated and so on and so on it basically makes your pistons and especially your, your piston rings the bearing surfaces. Not so much the pistons, more the rings. This is the, this is what we've been running with for a long, long time. Nick a diacil is basically a cylinder like this, and that's it. Fuck it, walk away. Come on, lads, we've done our job. Because inside this stuff is the high silicon content means they're also can be a bit more precise with the castings also means that the tooling costs blah 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 so on this thing you have this is two parts this is uh, times two parts but it's also you've got to machine the sleeves and you've got to machine the cylinders so it's times two process All right this one is it's times one part it's only one part but you've got a times two for the process because you've got to do exactly the same thing just instead of making a sleeve you've got to coat the motherfucker this one it's uh one part and all you've got to do is you've just got to bore it all right so it's times one so you can see how this is cheaper um, obviously you've got to cast them all, so we're not going to, well, let's add that process in, fuck it. So there's three here, you've got to cast it, you've got to cast it, and we'll call this two. You've got to cast it, and then machine it, right? So it's just the bore, I shouldn't really put that, there we go. So you can see how this is a lot cheaper. Now, a lot of people, after we looked at the R3 um, video, when them guys were toasting, um, pistons in the uh, r3 superbike build by tst and someone did send me a video uh, a couple of pictures saying they're having troubles with the r3 which has diacyl cylinders and they were saying oh you know this that and the other and he said is it this diacyl thing now the thing is if you look at the tst industries thing the piston is the thing that melted and the cylinder for all intents and purposes eh could I don't think it's the problem. I think it's more to do with the desaxing and some other fueling, blah, 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 blah. I need to gather more information, basically. Any road, regardless, putting that to one side, forgetting the R3 issues that a lot of people seem to be having. Um, this is just a cheaper process. And if it's as good as any of these processes, then fucking all fell play to them. You know what I mean? And uh, it also means that when you come to repair these things, you can just bore this out. Because unlike a cylinder sleeve, uh, a coating, where if you bore this out, 
to a larger size, you then have to go and have this thing nickel coated. So you have to have it bored out, larger size, larger piston, and then you have to have it re-coated. So for us, the end users, nickel coated cylinders are a twat, right? Where with this, all you do is you just bore it out a bit more, get a larger size piston, the piston's already fucked, so what does it matter? And that's it, you're ready to fucking crooky crumble, and off you fucking go. Slap your brand new rings, slap your brand new piston, and off you fuck, right? It's actually really good for us end users as well. How much the difference in wear characteristics and the life, I do not know. But in the near future, we will be running a test between the two. Um, and the easiest way to do that is basically just buy an R3 cylinder, but bore one out and stick a sleeve in one, and or have one nickel silk, bore it out, nickel silk coat it, bring it back up to the same size, and have basically a, re a, re a repetitive test where we just basically thermally heat saturate and just have it. I'll make a little machine that basically just a fucking rolling motor on a crank that just does this. <laughs> So I'll make a meme out of that. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? So these were the three options and this is the progression, the future. And it's not just this that this will be used for. This will be used for um, uh, oil pump housings and all sorts, you know, just basically casting with this 20% um, you know, silicon. Um, that's what it's all about and being able to control it. One of the problems they were having when you use 20% silicon is that um, it agitates easier so that uh, the basically the dyeing process, um, it is uh, more likely to have inclusions. It is harder on the dyes actually because you're pumping this shit into it. Um, and I can't remember the other reason. There was another reason. It was, oh, it was... Uh, freezing off flat uh, freezing off too quickly in thin pro wall profiles there's a different pr not a different an advanced process that yamaha use for this and the magnesium and we'll go into that in a future video in the next couple of days or week or whatever hope that makes sense i'll see you in a bit maybe who knows i might die tonight <laughs> shit oh fucking i always forget to press the bloody what is it you can't win, can you? Summer comes, summer goes. So, my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and welcome to the technical difficulties. Um, I've lost four videos, um, two of which I was quite pissed off about. Corrupt memory card, you don't know about the technical difficulties. You don't want to know. I don't want to fucking know. But, who gives a shit? Let's get on with it. Um, I've got to sort out these, oh, fuck me. Got to sort out these sound things, but they seem to work because when I don't have them, it sounds all echoey. Just whatever, temporarily. Like I say, technical difficulties. Just fucking yes. There we go. That might help. Right then. Does this entire thing? It feels wrong. We stood this side, but it does help me draw and write. I don't even know why it was that way around. In the first video, who gives a shit? Play the intro. <laughs> 